School consolidations and teacher ethics, those are still the top concerns of community members as Duval County Superintendent Dr. Christopher Bernier gets to work. He spent the night meeting members of the NAACP's Jacksonville branch. News for Jack's reporter Ariel Schiller was there and tells us how Dr. Bernier hopes to address all the concerns. It's been a week since Dr. Christopher Bernier started work as Duval County School Superintendent and already he's getting out into the community. Monday evening, the Jacksonville branch of the NAACP hosted a meet and greet with Dr. Bernier to give people the opportunity to get to know him. I spoke with Isaiah Rumlin, president of the Jacksonville NAACP, about working with Dr. Bernier. What issues are you hoping he'll address? I think the first issue you're going to have to address is the, um, uh, the school closures that's going to be discussed. Or, or in the process of being discussed as we speak. That's going to be a tough um, uh, battle to uh, deal with. Then the, um, the uh, construction of the new schools. Dr. Bernier says he's hearing a lot from people about declining enrollment and the proposed master facilities plan. Last Tuesday's school board meeting, he addressed the master facilities plan, noting that the consultants would be asked to revise what was released in March. When can parents expect that revised version and what does the process look like after we see that revised version? I don't have the exact date of when the revised version would come out. Staff is meeting right now going over the community prioritization of criteria. That will be turned over to the consultant and we suspect within two to three weeks we'll have a report back. And again, it's about community engagement all over again. We have to make sure that the community can value and realize that their voice has been listened to. Dr. Bernier's predecessor, Dr. Dana Krisnar, released this eight-page safety plan on June 27th following multiple issues with teachers at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts. Dr. Bernier says there's still work to be done before it's ready for a vote. The initial vote was delayed at last week's school board meeting. What you're really talking about is professional and ethical behavior of educators, staff, superintendents and, and other individuals. We have a responsibility to make sure that our educators and the people who work in and around our kids behave in a positive professional manner every day. At the meet and greet, Dr. Bernier talked about all students deserving a quality education, no matter what their background is. Rumlin hopes a community can come together to help Dr. Bernier and the school board overcome the issues the district has been facing. If we can uh, continue to put one kid at a time, maybe we can uh, uh, continue to do a better uh, job as it relates to our prison, our student prison pipeline. So, uh, I mean, you know, he's not going to be able to do it himself. It's going to take the community. It's going to take the entire community. It's going to take the city of Jacksonville to work with him in order to deal with these challenges that we've been faced with. In Jacksonville, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local Station. Dr. Bernier says the school board will discuss the student safety plan on the 16th.